Prince Harry has sparked backlash on Twitter with a cringe promotional video for his new campaign. The Duke of Sussex has revealed a brand new project for his global initiative Travelist. To promote his new campaign, a new sustainable travel company that suggests holiday makers should be rated based on their travel choices, the Duke starred in a skit that has sparked some backlash on Twitter. Harry announced the campaign on the New Zealand television station, Maori TV, but the advertisement was branded cringe by Twitter users. The pre-recorded shows Prince Harry jogging in New Zealand woodland whilst he is being watched by a team of rating agents. The Duke can be seen wearing a Girl Dad t-shirt, a tribute to his and Meghan's 11-month-old daughter Lilibet. Some fans weren't pleased hearing Harry talk about sustainability and being eco-friendly given the public knowledge that he often takes trips using private jets and resides in a nearly 15,000-square-foot mansion. One commenter accessed the prince saying, seems this hypocrite has found himself yet another bandwagon. He travels more than most and not by eco-friendly transport, yet has the audacity to preach to everyone else. Lives in a large mansion within extensive grounds that use more than a fair share of resources and his wife never wears the same outfit twice. The real purpose of Travelist is to make money under the smokescreen of a trendy topic he thinks raises his popularity. A second commentator wrote, maybe H&M and all of the rest of the self-proclaimed environmentally friendly celebrities stop jetting all over the place polluting the atmosphere, living in humongous homes, 10,000 plus square feet for four people? Have multiple homes all over the country slash world, probably watering their lush, over-landscaped properties while everyone else is subject to water restrictions due to drought-like conditions? Why can't H&M just do the oh-so-important things that they do without always trying to create this over-the-top proclamation to the world about how wonderfully altruistic and sacrificing they are? A third person tweeted, this was the big news that was supposed to spark discussion? His dead-in-the-water travelist thing? What does he know about Maori values? He carries such a superior tone for so many things he's actually uneducated about almost like if he sounds confident he can almost sell it. Harry's actually a good actor. This was fun, another tweeted. And a third person added, he could actually do cameos in films and make a ton of money. Not bad at all, he has a great screen presence. In the clip, Harry is speaking partly in Maori as one of the rating agents stops Harry and questions him about dropping a lolly wrapper at Auckland's Bethel's Beach in 2018 during his royal tour. The rating agent informs Harry that they are trialing a new system whereby holiday destinations rate their visitors before giving the Duke three stars, out of five, rating. The rating agent, played by Rhys Darby, said, Imagine if those destinations rated you back. Prince Harry said, that's cool. The rating agent then said, we are trailing it now for the first time. I am here to rate you on your recent visit to Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2018. You'll be moderately happy to know that you scored three stars. The video has received feedback on Twitter over the skit being cringeworthy. Twitter user at Pooja3371935 claimed that the public are not interested and that his Harry's acting skills are truly cringeworthy. At Brigantio underscore said, so he's using Maori as props to sell his travel business? Is that the breakdown? And at Goffoli commented, so he's sending eco-friendly travelers to visit a place that they may or may not have on their bucket list, BC, all in the name of carbon footprints? Makes no sense. Again, Prince of Fools. At Nicola Kingshot 3 added, this clown cracks me up. He's preaching to PP on where to go and how to get there yet uses private jets and helicopters to get around. You couldn't make this s up. User at purpler3186943 said, like hashtag Prince Harry using Maori culture and language to promote his business. Does he not know colonialism is a very touchy subject in New Zealand and Australia? What an idiot New Zealand and Australia.